friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, such as comparisons, and this makeup look using the brand new Guerlain Spring 2021 collection. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see all the details about Guerlain Spring 2021 collection, then just keep on watching. And I finally got my hands on the new Guerlain Spring 2021 collection. And I say finally because honestly, it was mostly because the meteorites. The meteorites for the spring 2021 comes in two different versions. One of them is kind of like a pearlized, kind of like frosty tone. I will put an image right here that is available in North America in general and then in Europe too. But then there's another one, one that is not even appearing in promo images, but it had appeared like all of a sudden magically <laughs> in Harrods, also in Selfridges, but it's really hard to get your hands on. I think also in Canada we have seen an app. I mean, I'm not sure. I will make sure to leave all the details on the description box below as well as links. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will suggest you to do so because anytime that I see a product coming back in restock or being launched and something new, I post it on my Instagram, Instagram stories, also here on my community tab. Anyhow, my friends, I got my hands on the pink pearl <laughs> and I did so because to me it was different enough from all the other meteorites that I have. I love meteorites. Meteorites, they just give you, I mean, this beautiful glow to your skin, beautiful aura. But the pink pearl to me looks more like a blush, but we will see in a minute. So I have already part of my makeup on right now, but I just wanted to, you know what? I had it right here for a few days already, all these collection, and I'm like, I need to try it. I also went ahead and pick up the two lipsticks and one of the lipstick cases. So let's go over this detail right here. So the pink pearl meteorites comes in this very classic packaging from meteorites. I don't think they did anything really special for this spring, which I was like, mm, well, well, I mean, regardless, a carton box, a little unicorn, Unless you're a true collector, you may collect them, but other than that, sometimes, you know, they just go to, uh, yeah, they just go to waste. And let's just dive in into the packaging. So the packaging is pretty, you know, similar to other meteorites. Again, there's nothing truly like super fancy. You see kind of like these scales on the tin. And then even the top one, there's no colors, nothing really in particular. I mean, it has that Guerlain emblem, Guerlain right here, but it doesn't even have any colors. Like for example, that Spring 2020 collection, the one from last year, I did a full on review. See right here, it's like a very light, pastel pink, kind of like Easter he like, even the top really cute and you know in fact if you have this one right here i mean i don't have other meteorites for this 2021 spring collection to compare it but from promo pictures it really looks a lot like this one right here i mean this has a little bit more pink in it but it has this you know very pearly pearly tone right here so that's why i said you know what i don't think i need the one that is available right now everywhere and in fact this one right here for me it was truly another hunt to get my hands on that one last year it seems like every spring Gurlan is going to put us into the test of like okay come and find me <laughs> type of thing okay my friends so let me just open it up as you know it comes with this little spongy protector do you see how pink this looks and there you go hopefully the balls they don't go everywhere but these are the meteorites Yes, I mean, they are beautiful. As far as scent goes, yeah, it's a typical meteorite scent. For a moment, I thought, there's no scent. I wasn't getting close enough, but I don't want to get too close that then I will choke with the powder. <laughs> okay, friends, so the way that I'm going to use them today, I think I'm going to use them first as blush because honestly, it's very, very pink. And I'm gonna be using my Refer number 11 brush. This is a very fluffy brush, like not too dense. 
and I think it will just diffuse really well the meteorites. I'm talking about Refer. Right now, Refer is having a 30% off sale, and this video is not sponsored by Refer. They don't know anything that I will be mentioning them on this video, but I thought, you know what? Refer has actually stock some of their eye crease brushes that they usually go out and sell really fast and i know they are limited quantities right now because all of these are handmade and i know that also some of their face brushes they have come back on stock in fact talking about really quick about refer they are going to start a rewards program and i think if you just sign up right now i mean there's no cost to sign up it's just basically placing your email they will give you a 1000 points that then you can use it later on for your next purchase so i think that's great i will put all the information in the description box okay let's go with this baby right here okay just gonna go lightly okay let's see right here now that i'm going lightly on this one i think i can use it for around the perimeter of my face so let's try Again, I'm tapping lightly and look, you see? Yeah, I do have, for those who are new here, welcome to my channel. I do have a light to medium skin tone with warm undertones. So these kind of like rosy tones, they look good on my skin tone. They do give a really nice contrast. Okay, so I was able to give, you know, a little bit of that luminosity to my face really well with this brush again with a more you know fluffy brush let me grab another brush but just for the cheeks let me just try the number 18 and now i'm gonna be a little bit more precise and i'm gonna go to those let me see if you can see it right there the pinky the okay. <laughs> this one right here i'm gonna try to get more into those right there and this is the thing with the meteorites sometimes you get more of certain you know balls than the other one and like for example on my meteorites i only got like four of these and then the other ones are more like regular pink so i just dig in really really well okay now let's try as a blush yeah definitely you can use it as a blush i think with someone with a lighter skin tone it will show even more, but on my skin tone is is showing, and I don't have any blush right now, so I'm just going in. Look right there. Yeah, so definitely works as a blush for me. Again, I'm just concentrating the brush on one point right there. So I think you have flexibility with the meteorites if you move them around a little you know and depending on what type of brush you're using but this way with a brush that is a little bit more not super dense but you know that it will pick up more it really give me that you know blush effect so definitely i'm finding two different ways to use it without a problem let me just show you again with this big brush right here the number 11 from refer I'm just gonna go back again with this. You see, this picked up a lot less. I'm going around and it's not turning my face red. I'm just buffing it just a little in a very gentle way. Okay, that looks perfect. Okay, now I'm super excited to jump and try the lipsticks. So there are two lipsticks on this collection. And honestly, one of them, I was like debating to get it or not because it has a number, it's 07, and on Orlando's permanent line, there's a 007 that is also in the sheer version. That, by the way, the two lipsticks, they are in the sheer shine formula. One is number 07, and the other one is number 76. So one is more kind of like a bronzy tone, and the other one is more in the pinky tone. Both of them are kind of these frosty, pearlized. I don't think they're, they don't look like metallic metallic, but they look a little bit more frosty. And this is the way that they come when you take them out, you have to buy the case separately. So if you're new to Guerlain, that's something that you have to know right there. You buy the lipstick and then the case, the top, you choose. I mean, there are so many different ones and this collection comes with such a beautiful one, but let me first show you the lipsticks.
So this one right here is 07. And let me show you the one that I have also on the Sheer Shine formula. See, this is the case, a regular case right here. And this is in the shade 007, okay? And you can see the bullet is different. The shades are different. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make comparisons in a minute, but let's just go ahead and move on. And let me show you the other lipstick that I got that is the one that is more on the pinky tone, the number 76. Isn't that beautiful too? It's gorgeous. And in fact, it looks more like this one right here. Oh my goodness, my curiosity is right there. And then for the case, I got one of them, the one in pink pearl. Honestly, I was afraid to even get this one because, um, I don't know, the promo pictures didn't give it justice. It looked a little bit on the not so fancy and luxurious side per se, but, you know, I think I was wrong. <laughs> so let me just show it to you. Your case will come in a really nice velour pouch. So it says Guerlain right here. I don't even know if the camera will be able to show you, but I mean, it says Guerlain right there, okay? And then let's just take it out. There you go. This is it. This is the way it comes. So as you can tell, it looks, I mean, it looks beautiful. They did an amazing, excellent job. The pearls, they look very pretty. And I love this shade right here. I love everything pink. So when you remove these, the mirror will open up and you have a double-sided mirror. One that is more magnified and the other one that, you know, is just the regular, <laughs> quote unquote, the regular way. So this is perfect for applying your lipstick. And the way that you put your lipstick on, you just go ahead and slide it, close this lid right here. And you see this part right here, it becomes the stopper. So there you go. And that's the way you close it. I mean, so beautiful, so, so pretty. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and try the shade 07. You know, it's kind of sheer. You can still see the natural tint of your lips. I, my lips are very, you know, they, they have a lot of pink in it and, you know, it looks very pretty. I mean, with a lip liner, it will be amazing right now. I'm just going for it like this and I think it looks so beautiful. I mean, this with a tan looks so pretty. We are wondering if it has a scent. Honestly, I cannot smell anything. I mean, after smelling the meteorites that has such a, you know, like impactful scent that this right here is kind of like nothing. If it has any scent, honestly, I cannot, I cannot. So here you go. Going into the shade 76. Beautiful, frosty pink. As you can tell, I love pinks. Oh, give me pinks and purples. I love the shades. Well, purple not for the lips, but yes, pink. Still on that frosty side, but not metallic. And this is the beauty of the lipstick finish that is not metallic, so it makes your lips look more juicy without, you know, making them look metallic. <laughs> so this is the shade 76. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do a quick comparison right here with the other shade that I have on this formula, the Sheer Shine. Now the Sheer Shine formula, it's beautiful because it's also very nourishing. It feels hydrating, very comfortable. Uh, I mean, it's sheer, but it's kind of that comfort zone of a satin lipstick. It does have some pigmentation too. Okay, so I'm putting 76. I'm just gonna build it up right here so you can see the tone as much as possible. This is 76. And then I have here 07, which is the one from this collection. And I'm gonna put it a little bit below. This is more sheer. I'm wondering if this shade looks like the new shade from Chanel from the new Le Blanc 2021 collection. There's a 
Coco Flash that it looks pearlized. I think this may be a light to it. I don't have it. I decided to pass on that one, but I'm still curious about it because it gives that little shine. I don't know, maybe, maybe. Let's see right here. And here I have zero, zero, seven. So there's two zeros before the seven. And this also is a sheer shine formula. Okay, this one is not as frosty as you can tell as the other ones. Yeah, it's not as frosty. <laughs> Definitely, it's a little bit more, I shouldn't even say muted. It's also a shiny, kind of glossy type of lip, but because the other two has more of that pearlized finish, you know, it just looks different. And it even has a different undertone. It's not as pink as this one right here. So, woo, we're safe because I have all three different shades. I don't, I'm not repeating myself. All right, my friends, so I'm completely done with my makeup look. Final thoughts right here upon first impressions. I mean, I absolutely love the meteorites. I mean, if you haven't tried them, honestly, you can really not go wrong. I think it's obviously a matter of preference on the shades and tones and your skin tone, obviously, because some of them are very light. On their permanent line, they have, I think they are just three as of right now. The one is for the light skin tones, medium, and then for deeper skin tones. And I think they are beautiful. My favorite one was from the holiday collection of 20, I think it was 2019. Yeah, it was 2019. That it was that was my favorite meteorites. But this one, the new one from the spring 2021, I'm pretty sure it's gonna become a favorite one because I like its versatility. I mean, as you saw from my application, depending on the type of brush that you use, the intensity and where you locate your brush, I mean, you can manage to use it as a blush or as a finishing powder, depending obviously on your skin tones. I mean, the meteorites are the meteorites. And then as far as that sheer shine lipsticks, they are both beautiful. I see myself using both for different, you know, with different methods. I think the one that is the lighter tone, I will use it perhaps with a lip liner under, go over top, give that extra shine on my lips. I'm feeling that nourishment too that, I mean, is much, much appreciated. And the one that I end up loving is the one in 76. I think this one right here is totally my shade. It really enhances my, lip, my natural lip color and I'm in love with the case. It looks just so feminine with the pearls and it does, I mean, it, it's refined, it's all luxury, all so, so beautiful. I think it's a super hit right here. Now, as far as the other meteorites that comes with this collection, the one that we find it more available in different retailers, again, I will be leaving that on the description box below, that one as well. That one, I think that will be beautiful if you want to just give a very healthy, you know, glow to your skin, a beautiful aura, if you want to buff your face with it, I think that will be beautiful. I mean, absolutely stunning. It's just that, again, I don't want to, you know, repeat myself. I already have this one right here from 2020 and it looks too, too close to it. So I'm happy with my purchase and now I would love to know from you, have you been able to get your hands on these Guerlain Spring 2021 collections? in particular on these pink pearl meteorites or anything of the collection i would love to start the conversation down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i hope that you will give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my instagram if you like this video give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye this